Sector Commander. Up one. Hello. No need to fear. I'm looking for a scientist named Paula Madeira. You got any idea where I could find her? I wish there was more I could tell you. Thanks for having my back.
Start talking to me. Don't hurt me. I'll tell you whatever you want to know. Paula Madeira. Tell me where she is. Madeira? She, she's in her office. Where is that? It's, it's in the main building, behind the big bay windows. They're, they're huge. You can't miss it. Who the hell are you? My name's Nomad. You were building drones for Walker and Stone? I, I... I was arrested for protesting. They made me work. Making war machines is the last thing on my to-do list. Yeah, well, a lot of people weren't sure what happened to you. 
Let's go. I'm sure more trouble's on the way. Find me? Daigoro Ito. Stone said the outcasts were all dead. Not all of them. What do you know about Stone? How should I know anything? Uh, he seemed to know Cole Walker pretty well. They were best frenemies, know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I think I do. I just can't decide where I'd rather be. Blistering cold or this shithole or that rancid heat, humidity down in Bolivia. Uh, Bolivia, any day of the week. <laughs> you know, I, uh, I got this buddy, Stone, from the Rhett teams. He, uh, he set up his own shop, doing contract work down in Mexico. He says down there the weather is sweet, and women are soft. Yeah, what's the Rhett team? It's retaliation teams. Super secret squirrel shit. I thought we were super secret squirrel shit. <laughs> Not like me and Stone and the other two bruisers on his team. Hang on. Three targets coming out of the building, 12 o'clock, they have rifles. Ready. Three, two, five meters. Roger that, three, two, five. Hold center, send it. Target's down. I don't know about contract work. Tell me that when you have two daughters headed to college. <laughs> now, look at that. One unlucky fella still squirming. Misery loves company. There's an asshole hanging out the doorway trying to give him a hand. Hold center. Send it. <laughs> Target's down. Yeah, I don't know about old Mexico. You know, me and Stone, we, uh, we never got along too good anyhow. Hey, you didn't fart in my rack, did you? How's it going? Yeah, it's been quiet. <sighs> Wake me up if, uh, things get thrilling. I first heard about Stone a while ago. Shit. Are you one of Walker's men? One of his wolves? No. Look, let's get out of here first, then we can talk. I'm not leaving the factory if it's operational. Stone is scary enough without lethal drones. You got any ideas? I've been working here 15-hour days for months. I've thought a lot about blowing up the building. I've been preparing for this. I built a jacker to overload my energy cells in case they fell into the wrong hands. Just hook up this device, and I've programmed it so that once you're out of range, they will implode.
Greetings. I need information on this. Do you happen to know anything? I wish there was more to say. Thanks. Take care of yourself. Ready. Time to go. Shit, it's Flycatcher.
How bad is it? There's nothing a shot of tequila can't fix, all right? Listen, we gotta change your plans. We need to get you some help, sooner rather than later. Take me to South Cape Station. There are people there that can help. Not stopping. Just keep pressure on it. Hey, stay awake. I'm awake. I'm awake. Now those nasty drones I just fought. Did you design them? Partly. Flycatcher. He customizes his own drones. He's an amateur engineer. He'll change out a turbine, adjust programmed behavior. Yeah, yeah. He's smart. He's dangerous. Flycatcher was my personal jailer for months. He's... Um, he's one of Walker's alpha wolves. I think you know the type. When one of my engineers...
disappeared, there was a rumor that Flycatcher abducted her. I'm not sure why, but knowing what Wallace was working on, it can't be good. Flycatcher sounds like somebody I should track down. Yes. Please do. And be sure to hurt his feelings for me. Yeah, I'm sure I'll come up with a witty insult. Listen, was Wallace at that R&D lab we just left? No, she, she was... She was staying in the Grandview Mansion when she went missing. Paula. Paula, stay awake. We're almost there. Hey! Hey! Stay awake! What do you want? Please. <clears throat> Don't be afraid. Easy there. I'm not looking for a fight, all right? Just a conversation. Point me in the direction of the person in charge. That's all of it right there. Awesome. Thanks. How are you doing with all this? Didn't well, what is this? People. Where did you come from? Sure. What the hell? Come on. Hey. This woman needs help. She says she knew a doctor here. Paula! Take her to medical. It's not like we chose that name. Makes us sound like a biker gang. Yeah, something like that. I guess all the good terrorist names were taken, huh? We are not terrorists. They never are. They're always freedom fighters, revolutionaries, political activists. And who are you, exactly? I'm Nomad. And right now I'm looking out for Paula Madeira. You're one of the soldiers from the helicopters. That's right. We tried to help some of you, but we only found dead bodies. Why would you try to help us out? Because we need friends. Even if they do look like the Brute Squad. <laughs> the world is more dangerous to humans than ever. I'm Haruhito. 
I used to be an engineer at Skeltech, and I was happy, but then some of us found out a Skeltech secret. Project Deus? Never heard of it. You've heard of transhumanism. Some of the scientists on this island want to force the next step of human evolution with technology. Project Deus wants to make computers that are more intelligent than humans. <laughs> well, that shouldn't be too difficult. Most people I meet are as dumb as rocks. Would you really want a computer running your life? We came to live here because J. Skell promised us a libertarian paradise. Project Deus would put computers in control. And now you're here to fight that. Damn right. And Paula Madeira is a friend of yours. You'd be surprised how many people think transhumanism is a shitty goal. You can visit Paula in the medical bay. You like music, Nomad? Sure, I guess. I mean, who doesn't? Did you know we have a famous musician right here on the island? Wait, really? I mean, who's not famous on this island? Good point. His name is Jesus Morrison. For the last few years, he's been covertly working with us, encoding enemy intel in his songs. That sounds like a dangerous assignment. I would appreciate you paying him a visit. He's been under some unwelcome scrutiny. Duly noted. Brute Squad, did you mean what you said about needing friends? I did. We just got intel about a new shipment of weapons at some base in Oroa. The weapons are being sent to Liberty by boat. Hey, you want me to hijack it and bring it back for your people? You should have quit while you were ahead. Hey, we aren't the real enemy. Right now, the enemy isn't even Project Deus. Sentinel is coming for all of us. We need weapons. Every legitimate revolution had to start somewhere. But arming concerned citizens is a long way from a real liberation army. We're in it now. Knowing what we do, there's no turning away. Those weapons are the only chance we've got at getting supplies and defending ourselves. What else do you know about the shipment? Not much. It's being loaded onto a boat and it's headed to Liberty. There's not much to go on, but it's all our contact could get. That's plenty. I can go find myself a Sentinel soldier for anything else. I'll grab the boat and meet you with the shipment. Hey, Nomad. What do you know about data security? A little. Why? One of Sentinel sector bosses, Mark Meridian, has gotten a hold of a scale algorithm that analyzes phone, email, and social media patterns. There's probably a lot of sensitive data in that mess. Yes. The algorithm takes advantage of online vulnerabilities. Once verified, it can be uploaded to the cloud where everybody in Sentinel can access it. With the data, Meridian can target outcast agents and their families. So where do I fit into all of this? Later today, Meridian and his three lieutenants are meeting to verify their intel and start the algorithm protocols. I'm hoping you can stop them. Listen, I'm not your private assassin. I know. But listen, Meridian and his men are heartless. With this info, not only are the outcasts in grave danger, but so are their loved ones. Okay. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Where should I start looking? One of his goons, Sullivan Blake, was last seen on the eastern side of the Good Hope Mountain province. It's north of the God Forsaken Highland. Red Weasel Outpost is around there. After you track him down, he should lead you to the others. Got it. up with the security center it's a security center a penitentiary in scales personal paradise of freedom it popped up pretty much right after the outcasts started kicking up dust about scales agenda they sold it to parliament as a place to hold troublemakers before they could be transferred off the island but of course when sentinel showed up 
Skell handed them the keys to help them with their peacekeeping. Weirdly, Sentinel didn't really use it. Not sure if it was too small or what. Most outcast and civilian inmates get sent up to the prison that used to be the survival shelters in Good Hope Mountain. Any advice for fighting in World 2.0? The name of the game is take out their drones faster than they can launch them. It's a bitch, but that's why we always carry jammers that'll shut off any live drone or vehicle happening by. At least for a while. Another option would be to make your peace with the devil and use sink shot drones to take out specific targets. Sink shot drones? They only target humans, though. They can't target drones. There's also a variation on the Legion drone, the ones in the drone swarm. They're like little flying guns that basically take aim in any direction and wait for a signal to execute their target. Got any lying around? No can do. We mostly leave those things alone. Kind of goes against what we're trying to be. Sounds like just another weapon to me. If you're inclined, you can get them hot out of the oven from Skeltech Labs or assembly lines. Hell, even some startups might have them. And come to think of it, the Omega Center ought to have plenty. See you later, Haruhi. Not if I see you first, Brute Squad. I should never have helped make those drones. Guess I'm paying for my sins. Yeah, they didn't give you much choice. Yeah. Painkillers make me think too much. <laughs> I know you want something. Everybody's after me like I'm Belle of the Ball. I'm working with Jay Skell. He's alive? He's alive. And he needs your help, Paula. Why would I help him? Jace did this. This is all him. Let's just say he's seen the light. And he wants to fix things. But he can't do it alone. I trusted him when I followed him out to this godforsaken island, and he lied to all of us. He betrayed us. I'm sorry. But if you trust Jay Skell, you are just as stupid as we were. Paula, you know he's not working for Sentinel, right? He was. You should ask him what they were working on. Ask him about Project Deus.
You think this was how things were gonna go when Sentinel came in? Are you fighting the good fight out there, buddy? find Paula? Sure, but she won't come here. She kind of hates me right now. <laughs> you, uh, kind of didn't mention that. I thought she'd be over that. Things on a roll the way they are. Hope she'd help us out. Once I said your name, she wouldn't even talk to me. What's Project Deus? Project Deus isn't the problem. Problem is, she can only see the harm it can do. Great to see you again. Great to see you too, sir. Lieutenant Colonel Walker, Paula Madeira. Please, call me Cole. Paula is Skeltech's most brilliant engineer. Now, now, I've seen your uh, designs, ma'am. I'd say that brilliant, that's an understatement. And I've seen your resume. It's heavily redacted. <laughs> yeah. I'd take it that, uh, that's not for the field test. No, that won't be ready for a few months. Wow. I want to ask you, the, uh, work you're doing on deep learning AI controlling these drones, how's that going? Excuse me? Using deep learning AI? How? Specifically, uh, data mining? Target identification? We haven't, um, explored those options yet. <laughs> you mean to tell me that you have the top computer scientists in the world developing some sort of supercomputer and you, uh, haven't explored those options yet? He's talking about Maddox. He's talking about Project Deus. Imagine it. Using this beast of a computer. Predictive analytics. Finding terror threats. Eliminating them with drones. You want to build a super intelligent computer, and the first thing you want to do with it is kill people? No, oh, ma'am. First thing I want to do is keep the free world safe. I'm sure that you, uh, well, you understand that. And who's going to keep the free world safe from Project Deus? <laughs> How could you? I want nothing to do with this. Don't... just... Paula! <laughs> Jace, if she's truly brilliant, she'll come around. So you and Walker were pals, huh? Everyone was... nomad. We need Paula's help. No one knows the system better than she does. I like you, genius, but some of your choices get people hurt. All the big choices do. Look, I know how to get her to help us. I'm listening. Two things. You need to find evidence on the explosion in my lab. You really know who did it? I'm almost certain the outcast did it. But you need to show Paula evidence on the explosive device itself. Second? You need to visit Paula's husband. She did not mention a husband. Look for him in a royal hospital. Nomad. This won't be easy for her. But after it's done, she'll know who to trust. All right. We need her help. <laughs> <laughs> 